Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. It is 6pm, it is Sunday night. Chelsea are still on later on for the charity show. We're going to have a quick head shave, had my face shave today, really enjoyed it, great shave. Managed to get a bit, bit of the best out of the Morrison Fondry. However, I'm going to be using my wolf whiskers today. This is the Ultra Fan and this is just for the benefit of Matthew Pinder who sent me the question regarding what the best black wolf knot is in, in my opinion and I still believe it's the 25mm fan but this is the 25mm ultra fan we're going to give that a go today and I'm going to use Lake of the Woods from Elvado shaving out of Canada and it is an excellent excellent product I have not used this type of product yet but I've used this creams before from the tubs I've used their aftershave balms the splash an alcohol free splash now this here it's avocado and shea butter shave cream now, I don't normally read stuff, but the reason I'm reading this is because it's not because of the ingredients of the scent, well it is the ingredients, but not, nothing to do with the scent profile at all. But it's just to let you know that it's 100% natural, it's 92% organic, 100% essential oils and 10 superb ingredients. And it's free of nanoparticles, fragrance oils and musks, parabens and fat phthalates, sodium laurel sulfate, synthetic preservatives and no animal testing. So this stuff at the moment retails at Men Essential. This is Lake of the Woods. At the moment you can only get True North on there I believe. I couldn't find any other places that sell Lake of the Woods or Royal Tahitian Line. But it is $24 Canadian which works out at roughly $24 Australian which I think is then again roughly about $18 or $19 American I think. Now you get 3.4 ounces, it comes in a cream pump bottle, you literally squirt two, two pumps on it. I'm going to squirt three today because it's a head shave, but you squirt two pumps of this on. So I'm just going to start by wetting the brush, wetting my head. So that's it, I never normally read things out because it's, it's, especially if it's scent profiles and things. Now I know this has got silver fur needle on here, but I know there's a bit of citrus in here because I the Lake of the Woods that I've got, I've already read the scent profile for it, but it's not got much scent strength. This stuff is supposed to be much better scent strength wise. So here we go, we've got the Wolf Whiskers 25ml Ultra Fan. One, two, three. Now it says two pumps, but that would suffice for a face shave for me. Now the great thing with this is, it's got a lid on it, it's a pump bottle, it's it's powered by suction or however it works, it pull, pulls, I'm assuming there's a, yeah. So it's got this part here which will move up through the bottle and, and dispense the cream itself. So there's no guessing with this, it's quite good if, if two pumps works well for you, you're going to get the same shave from it every time. Pump, pump, done. Walk away, have your shave and you're done. You're not going to have that variation of if I put too much cream in, there's a too much, you know, you're going to get it the exact same every time. So I've got three squirts on this one and let's just sort of paint it on the head. Oh, I can smell. Oh, what a difference in the scent. Yeah, that's really nice. Now there's a bit of citrus in here, but it's not, there's not, well, I think there's citrus in it. I'm pretty sure there is. But it is a lovely scent. So I'm just fixing my mirror from the back of my head. <coughs> Obviously it's 6 p.m. here, so there's no sunshine anymore. The sun's gone, it is our winter, so it's sort of similar to the UK. It gets dark around about five, six o'clock. <clears throat> right, now, what I'm going to do now, because I find this more of a painter in the beginning when it's really dry, this brush. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Is that a brush shape? No. So I'm just going to dip the tips, just slightly, and then just paint it. You'll see that? Well, you probably won't. There you go. You see it's starting to go a little bit translucent. So I'm just dipping the tips again. I've never used this cream before, so this is all new to me as well. I'm using it with a, in my opinion, for this sort of application, this is where this brush struggles a little bit when you've got to try and really scrub the lather to make it come to life. So I'm just painting the, painting the liquid into it now. I've got no doubt in my mind if I was using the bulb, I would already be or the fan knot that I would already be splaying the knot and scrubbing the scrubbing the lather out because you can see it's 
it sort of holds the it holds the, the cream right in the tips. It makes it quite difficult to splay. It really is. A, it's a harder not to splay. I've been having good fortune with it on my face shaves lately, but all I'm doing is trying to paint enough water into this. And it could be that I've used three pumps as well. I should maybe have stuck to the two and just went with. There we go. That's it splaying no problem now. Oh yeah, the scent on this is lovely. It's got a cologne scent. It, it really does. It's got a sweet. sort of cologne scent to it, it's really nice. Now same again, I don't want to push this all the way down where it's actually, see it's flipping off the side, you want it so that you've got that sort of, it's hard to keep it the same all the way all the time, but you do, I do my best to try and keep the pressure on the brush the same so that you can build the lather evenly all over and you're not getting parts where the brush isn't actually touching your head or anything like that. So I'm going to make sure I get plenty of water into this. I'm going to try and do this in a sort of one and a half pass because I did shave my head yesterday. This lather's really nice actually. You can't really see too much with the... I'll see if I can... Oh, that's maybe just a bit dark. That's too light. You can actually see the lather there. You can see the shine on it. Just making a beautiful lather. It really is. The brush is actually working very well and because the painting is so important I find on a head shave it does really excel at that more than any other brush that I've used for painting strokes. The shape of it and the, the way the fibres are just seem to work perfectly for that painting effect. Yeah this lather is superb, wow. To say this is a very liquid cream I think I've maybe actually put too much cream in. I should have stuck to the two pumps. I think this is... It's almost too good. <laughs> I mean, look at that. It's like a... A painted helmet. Right, I am going to use... The Gillette HD 500 Rocket. It's got a brand new... Oh, I think it's brand new. It's been in there for a while. Brand new Gillette Nasset blade. As you can see, it's a twisted open razor, and it's got the Gillette Nasset in there, and let's get stuck in. I'm just going to go straight against the grain with this and see how it feels. I've not used this razor for ages. I'll be back. Okay, the razor's too mild for me, I just want to get this shave done, so I'm jumping straight back in with the Wunderbar again. I only used it yesterday, so this is a bit of a... a bit of a test for my skin. Like I say, I've got a day's growth. Thank you. 
Well, one thing's for sure. The slickness is exceptional. It really is. Wow. Right, let me just dip the fingers in. Have a little feel. I know I've moved some of the soap around there, but the slickness, you can see the shine. Slickness is incredible. Like I say, I have used a bit of soap on my head there, but it's, it's still exceptional. Right, straight back in. And now that the, the brush has got plenty of lather and it's got plenty of moisture right now, it just splays instantly. When you touch it on your head and push down a little bit, away it goes. Right, so that's a little bit dry this lather now. So let's see how it deals with a bit of water now that's It's been used for my first pass. I'm just dip it again. It's taking the water very well. It's exploding again. This cream is exceptional. If you watched Andy, Northern Shaver, he used this recently, this, this cream. And it's, look at that, see if I can, I'll just zoom there so you can actually see the shine off that. It's just amazing, really good stuff. It feels great, it feels slick. It smells great, it's got a lovely smell to it. Silver ferny though, I don't know if that's what the actual, I mean, I'm assuming that is what part of the scent is. But it's got a, in terms of scent strength, as soon as it goes on that top of that brush, it's sitting around a five straight away. And I would say it sits around a five for the whole shade, but it's really nice. And it does have a, a sweet cologne thing going on. So the only thing with using the, the Bundabar that I find it's maybe just a bit too efficient for an everyday shave. So this is the second day in a row that I've used it. And as much as it still gives an excellent, comfortable, what feels like an irritation free shave, I can tell you right now there's a bit of irritation.
slickness on this soap is, is excellent. On oh, this cream, sorry, it's not even a soap, it's a cream. Now, if you've watched me head shave for a while, you'll know that the, the Wunderbar generally takes everything with it, so. Just dipping the tips again. Yeah. Tips of my fingers, that is. That's me, done and dusted. Very quiet shave today, tonight. As someone posted on Facebook, how can anyone justify, or artisans justify the price of the products compared to other companies? And like that. Now, as far as I'm concerned, John Carinci at Elvado, he uses only premium products, he doesn't use anything other than premium products. It's 92% organic. So it's, it's just, it's phenomenal stuff, it is. 24 bucks, fair enough, for that tube. It appears to be quite a lot, it's a big tube. I mean, that's, put that next to the, the Humphreys bottle, you can see the size of it, it's a, it's a big old tube of cream. But the wonderful thing with this is it's two pumps, which isn't going to use a lot out of this tube every time you use it. This is going to last me a long, long, long time. Great for travel. It's great if you don't have a brush, if you've lost your brush on travel, you can just put that in your hands and you can rub it on because it's brush or brushless application. It smells great. The slickness, which is essential, especially for my head shaves, is very, very, very good. Now, I feel like I've got a little bit of irritation in the back of my head, which I'll soon find out, because I'm going to put some Humphreys citrus on. I'm pretty sure there's a bit of citrus in this scent. Now, let's say I smell things and I don't really read scent profiles. I think I might have got a bit confused between this and True North, because True North is a citrus scent. And it smells, I have smelled that one, it smells very similar to me to the Royal Tahitian Lime. But it's actually got lime in it, so I think that's where the... The comparison sort of ends. So it'll be interesting to put them next to each other side by side and see what the scents are like with the rotation lime and the true north next to each other. But this Lake of the Woods smells great. It's a sweet, lovely cologne sort of scent. It has got a, it's almost like a sweet wood note that you get from it. It's really nice. It really is lovely. Yeah, it, it's nice stuff. The brush was the wolf whiskers. This is Peter Wolf's version of Lime, which is going around on the Morrison Fondrens and the Brad Sears and all those other simps and all those other brushes. This is beautiful, this colour, this bright, vibrant green. It's got the 25mm Ultra Black Wolf Fan Knot, which I'll just try and paint out a bit and just so you can see it. 
looks so nicely. I'll just let me clean it out while this is drying in on my head. Can't beat a good long video anyway. So yeah, it was good to watch uh, watch the Celtic yesterday morning. First game of the season, 4-1 against Hearts. And I'm really looking forward to the Premier League kicking off again next week. Still hoping to see another arrival at least at Manchester United. But there's been some big money moves going around. And there's talk of Gareth Bale leaving Real Madrid now. Kylian Mbappe goes to Real Madrid. Ronaldo apparently does want to leave Spain and come back to England. There's a lot going on in the transfer window. And as much as Ronaldo is a lot older than Neymar, just in terms of how much money you can make off the man's name and his ability and what he's done in the, in the football, he's probably worth the same amount in that regard. And I still think he's got a lot to offer, even the Premier League. That's, a, that's the 25mm Ultra fan, Black Wolf knot. Beautiful, beautiful knot. I didn't think it was going to be any good there at the beginning. It was sort of struggling along. I couldn't get it to splay, but I put three pumps of cream in that brush there and I think it was just too thick on the tip. So once I got enough water into it, it just splayed, boom, and it, you've seen the lather. It's, it's, it was a great lather. It lathered very easily and went very well. The razor I started off with was the Gillette HD 500 Rocket. And it was too mild. I, I, was, I was struggling with it there, if I'm honest. I need to probably just not got my angles right with these DEs at the moment. This is a little bit different because it's got a different angle to most DE razors that I've used. So yeah, it was just too mild for me. So I finished up with the Wunderbar and it was exceptional. Really was. I love this razor. Excellent, excellent razor. Yeah, I'm not sure if I've got any blood on my head because yeah, I've got a few spots of blood. But that's okay. I'm going to finish off with some Lucky Tiger which has, I've been really impressed with it. I know I've said it before, but it's, it's a really good splash. It's got lovely properties in it. Soothe and refresh with aloe, calendula and chamomile. And the ingredients, I don't think the ingredients are actually on here. The ingredients are normally on, they're on the bottle, on the actual box, which I don't have anymore. But a good set of ingredients in it. It feels great. It's got, I think it's got glycerin in here as well. And it, it really calms the skin down. I feel like I've got a bit of irritation on the back of my head and this will really help. But that is a BBS shave, nothing left. And it feels incredible. There's just really nothing like that feeling. There really isn't. I wish I could get it on my face shaves, I really do. Maybe one day, maybe one day, when I get that gem spot on, and it's 376 shave on the blade, I'll just whip up a BBS shave. Yeah. Excellent, excellent head shave. Really enjoyed that. Going to be looking forward to watching the football tonight. And that was Elvado, Lake of the Woods. Excellent cream. You should really, really check this stuff out. The slickness is off the charts. The lather was great. Really impressed with the lather. You see how thick and creamy and, and glossy it was. Um, yeah, just impressive stuff. Thanks very much, John, for sending me them. I will be using the rest of the products as well. And over, probably over the next week or so, just to give it a good test out. I'm not going to use it with my Morrison Fondren yet because I still haven't mastered using that bloody thing yet. So other than that, you guys stay safe, enjoy the rest of your Sunday and I shall catch you guys probably tomorrow but then again it might be Tuesday, I'm not sure yet. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.